So playing small is not gonna cut it. <laughs> we have to stretch ourselves and grow and develop in new ways. What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Alicia. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you five mindset habits to let go of in 2023 in order to change your life. Our mindset can often hold us back from achieving our dreams and really living our lives to the fullest. So it's an area to pay attention to and really take seriously if you're wanting to change your life. I'm calling these mindset habits because these are all ways of thinking that can often happen on autopilot without us even realizing it but have real effects in our lives. Let's jump into it. The first mindset habit to give up is unhealthy comparison on social media. Comparing ourselves to our friends and other people is a normal thing to do and I think it's part of being human but the way that social media is often set up especially platforms like Instagram which values aesthetics, values appearance, and like a flashy lifestyle. The way that the platforms are set up, it just makes it so easy to compare ourselves to other people around the clock if we're not careful. Spending a lot of your time focused on other people, whether it's their appearance, whether it's all the luxury vacations they're going on, whether it's the amount of money that they have, the clothes that they're wearing, what they're doing generally. Keeping tabs on other people like this all the time can make it really easy to be hard on yourself if you feel like you're not where you want to be, if you don't have a similar lifestyle as they do. It can really get out of control and you end up being really hard on yourself for feeling like you're falling behind and just accentuates that you're not where you want to be. I think it also comes down to personality wise. Sometimes when we compare ourselves, we do get like a boost of motivation to make changes in our lives and that can be a good thing. But I think we just have to be mindful of when the comparison is a good thing and when the comparison has gone too far and it's starting to have negative effects in our lives. I've been spending much less time over on Instagram for the past few months and it's kind of hard to describe but I feel like I have more mental space and clarity to just be present in my life, present for the people close to me. It's just a freeing feeling not keeping tabs on everyone and what they're doing 24-7. So if you feel like being on social media is creating more negative effects effects for you, just see what happens when you kind of scale back how much time you're spending scrolling, whether it's on Instagram, TikTok, or even watching YouTube if you find YouTube is causing negative effects for you. I personally find that YouTube is kind of the platform that I enjoy being on and less so being over on Instagram. So it's trial and error. This may change over time, but just kind of be mindful about how much time you're spending on social media and what effects that's having in your own life. Life. So it may not be a situation where you need to give up social media completely and cut out all platforms, but it may be a matter of figuring out which platforms you're most aligned with and which platforms are bringing you the most value in your life. The next mindset habit to give up is letting fear paralyze you. Y'all, this is one that was really big for me, especially when it came to starting my YouTube channel. I spent so much time in fear. I spent so many months thinking about all of the possible things that could go wrong with being on such a public platform. I spent months analyzing it, thinking about what other people would think, if I would get hate and troll comments and how I would handle that and literally playing out all of the worst case scenarios. And in a way, thinking about this was helpful in that I could think through what I would do and how I would handle it if some of these kind of worst case scenarios came true. But I literally spent too long in fear and letting fear hold me back from actually taking action. And I don't want the same for you in whatever it is that you're wanting to improve in your own life. I think that fear is one of those sneaky things that underlies a lot of our hesitation on taking action on our dreams. I think that we're often not living up to our full potential and getting out of our comfort zone due to a fear of what's going to happen if things don't go kind of perfectly according to our plan. If there are things that you've been thinking about doing, you have an interest in, but you haven't really explored it yet, I want to encourage you not to let fear hold you back. We are always going to experience fear. We're not going to be able to get rid of it for the rest of our lives, but we do have to figure out how to move through it and kind of take fear along with us and not let it hold us back. A lot of the times we come up with these worst case scenarios. We have a laundry list of different worries and concerns that a lot of them may never even come true. Even if 
some of these worst case scenarios did happen, there are ways that we could bounce back from it and things that we could learn from it and to grow. A little food for thought for you. Think about something that you've been wanting to change in your life. Think about what concern do you have or what worries you about moving forward on it. That will help you start to pinpoint what the fear is and how it's holding you back. The next mindset habit to give up is playing small. Now this mindset habit builds off of the previous one we just discussed. When we're playing small in our lives, what we're essentially doing is staying within our comfort zone and only doing things that feel good, that don't cause us to stretch and really grow in new ways. So playing small or staying within our comfort zone is a convenient way of avoiding fear and the discomfort of doing something new and challenging ourselves. The truth is, is that living the life of your dreams and accomplishing your goals is going to require discomfort. It's going to require you to get out of your comfort zone. It's going to require you to do new things and you're essentially going to have to level up and become a better version of yourself in order to make that happen. So playing small is not gonna cut it. <laughs> we have to stretch ourselves and grow and develop in new ways. When I first started making wellness and personal development content, I was making it over on Instagram to get started. When I think about the Instagram content I was making and knowing that it was mainly just my family and friends following me over there, looking back, that was a way of me playing small knowing that I wasn't being exposed to a bunch of new people. So I really had to let go of that and build up the courage to start this YouTube channel that's exposing me to a lot of new people and exposing me to, you know, having different opinions, possible disapproval with what I'm saying. And I feel like I'm no longer playing small. Like This feels super kind of risky to do. I feel exposed. I feel vulnerable. But I know that in order to live the life of my dreams, I'm going to have to do uncomfortable things. And one of these things is being on YouTube, being on a public platform. And yeah, it's, it's uncomfortable every single time. But I know that doing this, stretching myself, growing to the next level is going to take me so far. When you have some time to reflect, I want you to think about in what ways am I playing small in my life? What am I avoiding doing that I know will help me grow and get to where I want to be? Really think about that and think about what changes could you make that's going to help you stretch and get out of your comfort zone so that you can develop new skills and reach your dreams. All right, I want to hear from you. I want you to comment me down in the comments if you can relate to any of these mindset habits that I've discussed so far. I know I'm not alone in these and I know you aren't alone either. The next mindset habit to give up is relying on outside approval. Now I'm not saying that we shouldn't accept criticism, opinions from other people, especially those close to us. I think that is important. But what I am saying is that we have to stop asking permission to live the lives that we want to live. I know that I've spent so much time in hesitation, in indecision, and not taking action in my life because I was dependent on having the validation and approval of other people. And this is no way to live. I certainly value the opinions of the people close to me in my life and I value their take on things, but that's very different than being dependent on it and waiting to take action until we have their approval. It's important to know that we will never have 100% approval. Not everyone is going to agree with you in the way that you see things or the way that you are living your life, but that's okay. You have to be comfortable with how you're living your life and the decisions that you're making. So this is your reminder to stop asking for permission in order to live the life that you want. The next mindset habit to give up is overthinking. Y'all, these mindset habits were so easy for me to think of because I have experienced them all and in working through all of them, making progress one day at a time. The habit of overthinking is one that is near and dear to me. It's something that I completely relate to because I'm someone who values critical thinking and really thinking things through. And for me, spending a lot of time thinking about something and thinking about all the ins and outs and how it's going to work and what challenges I might face feels like a productive thing to do. But there does come a time where you've thought things through and you're essentially using thinking about it as a way to procrastinate on taking action. When we get to the point of overthinking, it becomes a way of avoiding fear, of avoiding discomfort, avoiding disapproval from other people. It just becomes a way of hiding and of playing small, which 
as you remember, we're not going to do anymore. Whatever the change is that you're wanting to make in 2023, I want you to find small ways to take action on that goal. This is a tip that's shared in Marie Forleo's book, Everything is Figureoutable. You have to move from overthinking and getting into action. Taking action is the only way that you're going to know if this is a good idea, if it's something that you enjoy, if it's something that you feel aligned with. Thinking about it is not going to bring you that clarity. I know I'm coming at you with a little tough love in this video, but I hope you find it helpful. If you enjoyed this video, check out my last video where I share five mindset books to create your dream life in 2023. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I make wellness and personal development videos here on my channel, and I would love to have you join the community. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Stay true to you.